Tara Jacobson and Paperly People. So today we're going to talk about actually doing something, right? You've had your big ideas or you've had your idea sheet and you've put a million ideas down and God bless you, entrepreneur, because I'm so sick of people saying that we shouldn't have all these great ideas. I think what they are trying to say, maybe incorrectly, is that you shouldn't have a whole bunch of ideas that don't have actions associated with them. But if I took every single one of my ideas and tried to implement it, it would be and has been a nightmare. So what you want to do is you want to follow the whole system. So you have all your ideas, then you're going to do, some of them are going to bubble to the top and they're going to be a big idea and they're going to be something that you really want to work on. So I've mentioned that I really want to make t-shirts, right? So I've had it on my ideas sheet and then I make it a big idea and then I start to figure out all the pieces of it and still I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting my mind work out all the things, seeing if it's something that I still like to do. A lot of times I can um, get, out, get that idea out of my head and go, oh gosh, that seems like not what I want to do. But then if it goes to the next segment, this last part, then it becomes little projects. And each of your segments on your big ideas is going to become a little project. And the one thing that I hear a lot from people as I'm explaining this system to them is two things, actually. The first one is, why does it have to be this complicated? Why do there have to be so many forms? Because there's three forms, the ideas, the big ideas, and the little projects. Well, first off, you're doing this in your head anyways. This is what keeps you from getting places. This is what keeps you from being able to work on your real work or to focus in the moment because you have all these things hanging around. So when you make this kind of packet of things, you're going to be able to stop all of that happening in your head and actually do actionable things that are going to move your project forward. So each of the sections in the big project will have a little project. And the other thing that I think happens is we forget where we are in, and, and we're just kind of randomly doing things. And if you have this all laid out and if you're using your checkboxes correctly, you're not going to feel like you're flailing around out of control. You're going to know where you are in each step of the process. So let's take a peek at this. This little project, you want to let yourself know which big idea it is. Um, I only work on a couple big ideas at a time. I try to really make sure that I, I keep myself to that. If, if I find that there's another big idea, I might archive one that I'm working on because you can't do too many things at once. When you're at this step, now you're actually doing work. And so you can't have too many of those. You can have a ton of, you can have a billion ideas. You can have some big ideas, but you're going to have to figure out what you can actually implement because unless they give me an extra 24 hours in a day, could you imagine there's no way that, that I could do all the things that I want to do. Then you want to do, this is super important. So this is for one little part of your project. You want to put a due date on here because if it, if not, it's just a dream, right? And this isn't the whole thing. This is just a little piece of it. So let's say for my t-shirts, I, my big idea might be that I want to make t-shirts. My first little project would be to research different places that I could do t-shirts, right? And that's really easy. And you're breaking everything down into bite-sized chunks so that you don't have to feel all, you know, you, you can accomplish things. And then you feel good about yourself rather than feeling like, oh my gosh, I have all these random things I'm doing and none of it's actually getting me anywhere. If it has a cost to it, say, say one of my things would be to take a course, right, about how to sell t-shirts then you would want to put the price of the course here. Or if you're looking at, um, you know, sourcing, things like that, you would want to do that. Okay, are there any materials? Are you going to have any materials? Are you going to sell any materials? You can put there. I also feel like you want to start thinking about cost and time. I tend to, to use my time as my measure because I'm a service organization. Um, I do make you know, I sell these worksheets, but in general, I'm selling my time. And then there's just action items, guys. And there's a place for notes. And so what you want to do is you want to break each of those things down. So if my, let's use my example. If my example is I'm going to research um, t-shirt places, I may have 
you know, the first one, the second one, the third one, I could eliminate them. You want to use your boxes the way you normally do. So you're going to fill in it if it's done, if it's complete. Maybe it's complete that you don't want to use that person, or maybe it's complete that you don't want, that you do want to use that person. But what you're going to do is you're going to do a slash line if you've started it. And I think that's what I use the most, honestly, because a lot of times I, because I do so many different things, I have clients, I have my work, I have blog posts, I have all different kinds, I have to get pictures for blog posts, I have um, my forms, are they loaded onto Etsy, have I promoted them, you know, all the different things that are in my life, and, and I'll show you, this is one of my working forms for something else, um, and I have, I know exactly what I've already completed. So when I get up this morning and I have some things I want to work on, I don't have to go, oh, did that get done yesterday? I can know for a fact that it got done and that I can just move on to the next step. So hopefully this helps. I love the little projects. These are where you actually get to dig in and start doing it. And please don't forget, yes, if it's a big, if it's a big idea and you're going to implement it, great, then just Put all your little projects down and start working through them. If it's if you get a couple of little projects done and you think, gosh, this isn't really exactly going the way I want, then you haven't spent tons of time doing random things or setting up websites or buying domain names or doing all that. You've just spent a little time and then you can move on to a new big, pro a new big thing. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Paperly People.